Arsenal kick off their Champions League campaign away to Atalanta tonight and Mikel Arteta must decide whether to rest several key players ahead of Sunday's huge clash against Manchester City. Bukayo Saka and Ricardo Calafiori trained yesterday but might not be risked ahead of the trip to the Etihad, while Arteta confirmed that Martin Odegaard's ankle injury is a significant one in a huge blow. But Declan Rice could return. Having missed the Tottenham win because of suspension, with refs chief Howard Webb saying it was the correct decision to send him off against Brighton. Here are the big stories from in and around the Emirates over the past 24 hours. Mikel Arteta has confirmed that Arsenal captain Martin Odegaard sustained significant damage to his ankle during the recent international break. Odegaard missed Sunday's North London derby due to the issue, though it remained unclear at the time how long he would be absent for. But on the eve of Arsenal's Champions League opener against Atalanta, Arteta has delivered a fairly bleak update. The Spaniard revealed, after recent scans the scans showed that he's got some damage especially on one of the ligaments in the ankle. It's something quite significant so we're going to lose him for a while. Pkmol's chief refereeing officer Howard Webb has backed the decision to show Declan Rice a red card against Brighton. Rice was shown a second yellow card four minutes after half time in Arsenal's clash against the Seagulls just before the international break. The midfielder had been booked in the first half of the draw after a late tackle on Joel Veltman. The duo clashed again early in the second period, with Rice crashing into the full back down in the Brighton corner. Referee Chris Kavanagh awarded a free kick, with Veltman pushing the ball forward to take it. While the ball was still moving, Veltman began his run up to take it, but Rice flicked it away before he could kick it forward. Veltman instead kicked Rice who was subsequently shown a second yellow card by Kavanagh. And Webb has now said it was the right decision. Alan Shearer has named the biggest reason why Mikel Arteta is being viewed on a higher level to Manchester United. Boss Eric Ten Hag despite only having an FA Cup to show for his work, Arsenal have proven they are capable of pushing Manchester City hard in the league. While Ten Hag has won the Carabao Cup and FA Cup compared to Arteta's solitary medal from the latter, Former Newcastle goals Cora Shearer reckons the Gunners head coach has already proven his value. And with Arsenal, who face City on Sunday, again expected to be the closest challenger to the Premier League champions, United might merely find themselves fighting for fourth place again, which Shearer says sets the Gunners' chief apart. Join our new WhatsApp community and receive your daily dose of Mirror Football content. We also treat our community members to special offers, promotions, and adverts from us and our partners. If you don't like our community, you can check out anytime you like. If you're curious, you can read our privacy notice.